slash marker sap. I didn't think we were playing more sap, but we are playing more sap. Will you add Peepo Yell? Yeah, yeah, I would add Peepo Yell. Sure, why not? There you go. Peepo Yell has been added to the chat. <clears throat> Pictured in Peepo Yell, me trying to explain to my grandkids why the phrase, oh no, mom found the piss drawer is the funniest thing in history circa 2020, 2023. 2023. Let me be like a bloated cucumber, dude. Also known as a zucchini. Owns. What do you think? Am I the best to ever do this uh, weekly? Yes or yes? I'm going to say yes. He said he didn't want to play battle bit. My ass doesn't want to play battle bit. Why? Because you're scared? I just don't get it, man. I need someone to explain battle bit to me, because I just I just don't get it, man. Then people say, what is there to get? And I'm like, exactly. And then they say, huh? And I say, oh, what, like you're doing right now? I think we're getting a flawless 10 piece here. It's Battlefield for Zoomers. Yeah, but I didn't even play Battlefield when I was a Zoomer. Back when Millennials were Zoomers. So, like, I'm, I'm mighty confused. It's, it's a perfect run. I'll roll. Oh, I'm glad I rolled. No YouTube videos today? No, my ass has been busy. I've been in, like, a different... I've been in a different house that doesn't even have a computer. You gotta cut me some damn slack, man. TF when no computer. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Dear me. By the way, the flawless prophecy still exists. Ooh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Do you schedule video uploads or are they uploaded in the moment? I schedule them, but they're freaking they you know I've been moving for like three days now. This is this is this is day three of nearly full time moving. So I, I haven't been back at this place really. I'm I'm finding myself living in a shotgun shack. I'm finding myself by behind the wheel of a large automobile. If we want to win fast, we should take a Lynx. Letting the days go by, huh? Let me be clear, you may uh, find yourself living in a shotgun, <laughs> sorry. I don't have a good Obama impression. Plus, I'm overtime today, so like I'm, I'm cooked, brother. Except in Super Auto Pets, in which case I am cooking. Like, look at this, holy, go ahead. Maybe next round we take one of these and give it one of those too. Okay, we will lose to this fish. It's the strongest fish I've ever seen. It's the fastest kid alive. There goes my flawless. Thanks a lot, Bensonite. Really appreciate that. She radioed my head until I left a moon-shaped pool. All right, well, that sounds... Honestly, that sounds like the sort of thing you might want to get checked out. I would encourage you to get that looked at. I'm not, that's not exactly my area of expertise. How about she bend on my head till I radio? <laughs> that doesn't even make any fucking sense. She, she bends on my duh until I am radio head? I don't know. Maybe you had it all figured out. I think I gave up on this run. As soon as we didn't get the flawless, I think my brain just... My God is away on business. The hell's happening, man? 20, 30 bison already? 
Did you see Dan? Because people in chat are Weezer posting right now. Did you see Dan? He, my, my lad disappointed me a little bit. I can't deny it. He said, Weezer has 924 songs and they're all good. Then someone said, well, I mean, first off, that's insane. Secondly, someone said, what's your favorite? And he said, Pink Triangle and The Greatest Man Who Ever Lived. Nothing hurt me like when Dan said one of his favorite Weezer songs is The Greatest Man Who Ever Lived. Pink Triangle, sure. But The, the Greatest Man Who Ever Lived? I can already hear him in my head. You stick to talking about math rock bands from Kentucky circa... 1993, and you leave the Weezer posting to the rest of us who know what we're talking about, but... I'm just, I, all I remember about the greatest man who ever lived is that um, my, one of my housemates in college used to blare it. He would only blare like two songs. It was that... Uh, the Greatest Man Who Ever Lived by Weezer, and Afterlife by Avenged Sevenfold. And he would play the same fucking song all day. Like, all day. And then, at like four in the morning, I would be like, Hey, can you turn that down? And he would be like, Oh, is it too loud? And I'm like... I don't belong here, I gotta move on here. Escape from this afterlife. It just like it never ended man by the way we are going flawless mode here it's over for them but p different people can have different uh, different tastes well that's the strongest hedgehog that's ever lived congratulations the greatest man who has ever lived to pork my beans in Beverly Hills. So, tr so true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Do you think he knows about any of the symbolism in Pink Triangle? You mean the symbolism where Rivers Cuomo says, I'm dumb, she's a lesbian? I thought I had found the one. I think he probably picked up on that. Seven wins, huh? Well, that's an embarrassment. <laughs> Flawless loss. How about a sandwiched arm? What's the etiquette for ordering at a restaurant during staff lunch? I think you're in the clear. I think there is no etiquette. If the staff are eating lunch, but the business is still open, you can definitely order lunch. It is always morally correct. Ooh. <clears throat> Sandwich arm, like me when I sleep on my arm. Yes. It makes a sandwich with half pillow bread and half bed bread. I think you got it precisely correct. Both good. Maybe you're a little bit better. No, maybe... Hang on, hang on. Hang on. You go here. You go here. This isn't what I wanted. I'll take a 2-5 just to take one. <clears throat> you hit me, I hit you back. You hit me, I hit you back. You guys see the Dune 2 trailer? Me neither. Apparently Zendaya's in this one, though. That should be interesting. I didn't know you could be in two comic book movies at the same time. It'll be interesting to see how that works out. She's in the first one. She's in the first Spider-Man movie. Starring Tom Welling. Ooh. What is this joke? I don't know. I didn't know what to say about Dunes. I thought it'd be funny if I just said Zendaya's in this one. 
But I guess she isn't in it, so the joke doesn't really make any sense. Who's Tom Welling? Tom Welling played Superman in Smallville. The CW show. About Superman. Which is because we were talking about comic books. Obviously, of course, I was referring to Tom Holland. I can't find a second level joke to go there. Smallville? It's been a minute since I thought of that. I hear ya. Hang on, hang on, I'm doing something. Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Nevertheless. Okay, how about this? It's not good. It's not that good. I'll buy it because it's basically an apple. Did you know the girl from Smallville is in prison for criminal sexual trafficking charges? Yes. That's it. Kristen Krayuk. She's a certified Vancouver legend because of her acting. And then, like, infamous because of all the criminal stuff that came after that. <laughs> What about Chloe? I never watched Smallville. That's probably something I should say right off the bat here. But it wasn't... Weren't both of the Smallvilles uh, in, indicted in that or implicated? Both of the Smallville ladies? Kristen Krayuk and then also the other one who was blonde. <laughs> I've never seen the show. <laughs> Maybe, wait, no, Kristen Krayuk is the one, she was in the cult, but she didn't go to prison. The other, yeah, Alice and Mac went to prison. Sorry, sorry. Isn't Alice and Mac the one who was sending the um, tweets to other actresses and was going like, hey, I really liked you in the new movie. Uh, by the way, if you ever want to have a conversation about something that could really open your mind, my DMs are open. Mr. Beast be like, you won't believe this, but I also got a DM from Alice and Max. Scary to think what could have happened. Plus two. <laughs> plus two. I was, I was waiting for those plus twos, man. I was living for it. Alex Mack? No, Alex Mack is the Nickelodeon show about the kid who can turn into a puddle. <laughs> I know it sounds like a bad superpower, but it's actually really handy because like if you get in trouble, you could just sort of like melt and then slip out through the door. She used it to her advantage. Why don't you take that, too? Okay, don't mind if I do. Oh! Oh, I think I will. Forget about you. She Alex on my Mac until I puddle? I think it's like she, she Mac on my Alex till I puddle. See, that makes sense to me. That makes more sense to me. It's the strongest team I've ever seen. It's the fastest kid alive. The Smallville theme song kind of goes crazy. I don't know why everyone's talking about Smallville. Here's a weird one for you. I don't know. Wait, oh wait, is that is the theme song? I can't stand to fly. I'm not that naive. Man wasn't meant to fly with clouds between his knees. I'm only a man on two skinny red skis. Instead of cologne, I'm wearing antifreeze. You that one? No, that's Jimmy Fallon singing the songs before the 2002 uh, Salt Lake City Olympic Games on Saturday Night Live. Oh. Oh, I suppose you're right. I suppose it is. 
Did, did I download that shit on Napster back in the day because I thought it was so funny? Yeah, I did. You cannot harm me. This is a crazy team, man. It's a shame it's got to go down like this. Nice to see your sense of humor hasn't changed. Song parodies are always in style. They're always cool. Hmm. How about one of those? I kept that pair frozen forever. Round 12? Round 12? Give me, give me some of that then. What do you think is the best song that nobody knows the artist for? I'm fucked. Lionfish goes insane this week. Maybe I'm not totally fucked. Maybe I'm not totally fucked. I'm, to I'm not totally fucked. We draw these. Come on, Eileen. Dexie's Midnight Runners. You know, I think we got to make a choice here. That sucks for our bison, huh? <laughs> The Macarena? The Los Del Rio. Los Del Rio. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to think. All the leaves are brown. Are you talking about California Dreaming by the Mamas and the Papas? Never heard it referred to as All the Leaves Are Brown. <laughs> the Austin Powers song? Uh, excuse me? You mean, um... Give me a second. Uh, ba Bossa Nova, um... I know it's by Quincy Jones. What's it called? Bossa Nova Groove? Soul Bossa Nova! That is a classic. I don't know. I would probably say like um Best song nobody knows the name of. And nobody knows the band that sang it. Maybe like Drops of Jupiter by Train or something. It's going to be tough to get there, man. <laughs> His bison's got to go. I love Drops of Jupiter by, by Train. Who doesn't? It's a, it's a great song. It's full of contradictions. She acts like summer and walks like rain. Reminds me that there's room to change. Yay, 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 yay. And plus, it's a, you don't get too many songs that are like so um, astronomical. Since your return from your trip to the moon, I'm afraid you might be thinking me at a plain old Jane Thomas. That was too afraid to fly solo, never did land. What a great song. How bizarre. It's by OMC. Try again. Inner Circle Sweat. Also known as the A La 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 Long song. I, know, I had that album as a kid because I saw them perform on America's Funniest Home Videos. And I thought that it was the best song ever made. And I was right. Go ahead. Take some of this. I don't see, I don't see how we could lose and I don't see how we could win. They did indeed make the Cops theme song as well, but don't hold that against them. Hey, I know people aren't going to like this, okay? But I just want to say, it is the truth that some of the people on that show were bad boys, okay? And if that bothers you, you can leave. Some of the boys doing the arresting were bad boys, quite frankly, as well. But some of the boys getting arrested were bad boys. I 
I guess I'm going to give you one of these. I'm going to give you one of these. I'm going to buff you. I'm going to move you to the front. I'm going to roll once. I was hoping for a cow. I was hoping for a cow, actually. What do you think about... I know you got a lemon. What do you think about this? Maybe if we go up against sniping teams, the blueberry will neutralize them. We got to try something a little strange. No snipers, huh? That did, like, so much less damage than I thought it was going to do. Never mind, we're fine. <laughs> you guys see that video of a bear in the zoo eating a duckling in front of a bunch of kids? I didn't see that one. Um, I didn't see that one, but... Nature is, is pretty fucked up. So yesterday, I picked up my daughter from her daycare. There was just a dead squirrel on the sidewalk. Like, I don't know it, what it died from. If it got zapped by, like, an electrical wire or something like that, or it just died, it just expired. But, like, me trying to keep my kid from seeing the squirrel was, like... It was a, a Benny Hill sketch. It was, like, Weekend at Bernie's. I was like, oh, look at that! Look at that! There's a flower over there! Look at this! Grimace shake. So true! Hey, guys! I'm about to try the Grimace shake. I think it's a funny bit. There's been some good TikToks I've seen on Twitter related to the Grimace shake. Ah, uh, you sniped me, but then I sniped you back. And then you sniped me and I sniped you back, bro! She freaking sniped me. Look at this. You don't even need this shit, man. You need that? I guess, actually, you need this. I don't know. All episodes of The Bear, Season 1 and Season 2, are out. I was going to watch The Bear, but then I decided not to because I saw a tweet that said... Um, nice shot. Uh, that said some of the, the people on the show, like some of the restaurant workers, have sex with each other. And I don't want to watch uh, that because I don't watch documentaries. Oh, what? Simple 10 piece? Big whoop. Look at the wishy-washy feet. Mm. <laughs> I did also see the tweet that was like, we need to stop having sex scenes in movies. Just show them like having a conversation and kissing and then it cuts away. We all know what happened. I thought that tweet was very good. That being insane. And then there was the one that was like, um, the reply was like, yeah, but in, like, the Transformers, we don't need this. The sex scene in Transformers really took me out of it. And then the reply was like, really, Transformers? The movie with transforming robots is what you brought up in order to... It, you really thought when I was talking about artful love scenes in the movie, you thought I was talking about the Michael Bay film Transformers? That This is going to be hard to find because the movie was not Transformers, but I don't specifically remember what it was. It was Jason X! You're so right! Jason X, the movie where the, the 10th movie in the Jason Friday the 13th franchise where Jason gets cryogenically frozen and launched into outer space. Jason X, the movie where a bloodthirsty killer who started on Camp uh, Rainy Woods uh, murders people in outer space. That's what you thought I was talking about when I was talking about artful sex scenes in movies. Jason X. I did also see the tweet that was like, I think they should do this for uh, action movies too. Like just show John Wick getting mad and then loading his gun and then it fades to black. That'd be it. That's a Coen Brothers movie now. That's, that's just no country for old men. Maybe they're on to something. Holy crap, give the librarian a break. Hey, did you guys see the tweet? That 
It had one like, um... I had nothing. Come on. 4-6 is kind of good with it. You're not doing anything. I honestly don't think you're going to do anything, but you are a 5-7. I, I'm really starting to realize, and I, I've realized this many times, so I shouldn't have to keep learning the lesson. But I'm realizing that the, ma the majority of people on the internet are now definitely younger than me. Because people that were arguing that, like, there shouldn't be so many sex scenes in movies were like, it's so awkward when I'm watching a movie with my parents and a sex scene comes on. Yeah, you're not going to be 14 forever. You'll eventually, you'll be fucking, like, 20, and then you'll be like, it's not awkward at all. You just watch the movie, and then at the end of the movie, you go, that movie was good. Or that movie fucking sucked if it's Jason X, I guess. There will come a day when you would give anything to watch another ill-advised cinematic sex scene with your parents, bro. Well, sell me? Buy me? I'm going weirdo mode with this. I mean, it doesn't get any more weirdo mode than a completely needless frigate bird. How did you, how about the post where the guy said he would live through the Ocean Gate submarine collapse? Implosion, I guess? I, honestly, I'm kind of with them. I have never seen him get into a submarine implosion, so how am I supposed to know if he wouldn't survive it? Everybody that previously uh, knew nothing about submarines, bro, the PSI would turn you into a pulp in less than 0 0.3 milliseconds. Forward, 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 re, re, forward, forward, re, re, forward, forward. I'm 11 years old, forward, forward. I'm an 11 year old underwater exploration expert. I saw it on a tweet based on a TikTok, based on an interview, based on a podcast appearance, based on a... I think he could make it. Honestly, have you guys ever heard about the power of positive thinking? Or the seven habits of highly effective people. Habit number one is don't get on a, a submarine. Under any circumstances. Like, even a good one. Why are you running a frigate bird? Because, like, it's... Can, do you want the honest answer? It's because it's too easy. They made the game too easy. I've been getting ten pieces all week. So we're, we're trying something to make it a little more complicated just to get the blood pumping. Hello. She's here. She's here. It arrived. Junkyard dog. <laughs> Any Coney emoters in chat? Owens. There it is. I thought he was taking that emote down. Coney. Coney, come on. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've talked about taking it down for months. As long as it's up. I refuse to be cancelled for referencing Junkyard Dog. Now. Level me. Garbage. How about a snake? 1010 Porcupine. You know, I gotta... Cooler heads have to prevail that one. That's pretty good. Top three foreign language movies? Hmm. I would have to say... The My Hero Academia movie is definitely up there. The Meg? There's a little bit of foreign language stuff that happens in the Meg. 
Which I know you're gonna think that's funny because of Peter Griffin, but it's actually like a really good movie. And then... Breaking Bad? I'm shocked NL knows what My Hero Academia is. Bro, people don't shut up about anime. Of course I know what My Hero Academia is. Every 10 seconds, people be like, nobody knows anime like me. By the way, have you heard of uh, Made in Abyss? Here's a little bit for you. Maybe I can describe an anime that my wife watched and you can tell me what it's called. Um, it's an anime and I all I know is that in the course of the anime, I think it's a little bit about like idol culture. They do a dance and they go like, Pio Pio, Pio Pio, Pio Pio. And there's like a really muscular guy that does the dance with like two girls behind them. That's Oshinoko. You guys are nerds. You're absolutely right, I think. You nerd. <laughs> Sorry. Song called for. Just pisses me off. Got us. I just called it. I just Googled idol anime. She said it was possibly one of the best animes in, made in human history. Would you say true or false to that? She's, she's right. She'll be happy to hear that. Thanks for having my back, chat. <laughs> Come on, big friggin' bird can work. Mm, I lived. I lived. I lived. My lemon. Uh, we cannot live. We're going to lose. 